Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is about the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Now, I already know I'm late, so you don't have to come for me about that. I was not going to pick up this palette, and then I decided to pick it up during the Sephora sale because I really just wanted to see what the hype was about, and this is what the hype was about. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here. You already clicked on the video, so join the family. If you want to see how I got this look, plus bonus video for you guys, because I did two others as well, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright, so before we get into the eye looks, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the palette. I know it's been out for a while, so you probably know all this already. And I appreciate you for still clicking on this video to see the looks that I did. This palette is $65, so it is one of her smaller palettes. It does have 15 shades in it, and it is a cooler toned, more neutral palette. Now, like I said, I was not going to pick this up because I was just like, these are not my shades. But then the more I looked at it, I was like, yeah, you know, there are some cool tones in here, but there are also some neutrals. There's some gold. I could probably do some looks with this and get some use out of it. And it's different from all of my other Natasha Denona palettes. I have the Love palette. I have the Sunrise palette and I have the Bronze palette. So clearly this is different from all of those. I'm going to show you swatches. I know you guys have seen all this stuff already, but I just want to do it. And then the looks that I did, I actually did three looks. So I did one with like typical silver cool toned gray, but then I also did a softer glam with the pinkish color in the palette. I hate that these don't have names. It's this center eyelid, outer eyelid, inner corner crap. Um, so I tried to describe which shades I was using for you guys, but I'll do like I did with the Trio Chrome video and I'll put a picture of the palette up and also some kind of designation to show you which shade I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and start with the swatches. I'm going to start with the first row. This is center eyelid. So this is the shade here. And this is the pinkish shade that I was talking about. It's still cool tone but it's not gray. Then this is outer eyelid. Then this is inner corner. All of these shades are so smooth. This is crease. And then this last one is called transition. This ain't my transition, and I don't know who's light enough that this would be anybody's transition, but I'm gonna swatch those last two again just to make sure you can see the colors because these build up a lot darker than they look in the pan, and that's something that I was very pleasant. That is a crappy swatch. <laughs> that is something that I was very pleasantly surprised about. So that is the first row. All right, for the second row, the first shade is Smoke. Second shade is Blend. I'm going to build that one up a little bit just so you can see. Third shade is Lash Line. That is the darkest shade in the palette. Fourth shade is inner corner. And then the last shade is center eyelid. So pretty. So that's the second row. And then for the last row, we have center eyelid is this one here. Then we have outer eyelid, which is this one here. Then we have center eyelid again. Then we have outer eyelid again. And then the very last shade is 
brow bone. I didn't realize that was the only brow bone. Hmm. So that is the last row. All of these are metallic shades. So that's it for all the swatches. We're gonna get into the eye looks now. The first eye look that I did, I used this shade mostly on the center of my eyelid. So that is the predominant shade in that look. The second, I used this center eyelid and then the lash line and smoke shades. So that'll be the more silver, traditional cool tone smoky. And then this last look, I used the gold. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first I'm going to take smoke and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. That looks really gray compared to how brown it looks in the pan. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm going to build that up in the crease a little bit. That is so dark already, wow. Next, I'm gonna go back with my fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with blend, which is the second color in the second row next to smoke. And just go around the edge with that. For my lid color, I'm gonna start with outer lid, which is the next to last in the bottom row. I'm not wetting my brush on these. I'm kind of following it the way the palette says. I'm gonna take center eyelid, which is the last shade, whoa, on the second row. Wow. That is pretty. And then I'm going to take inner corner, which is next to center eyelid on the second row. Those all blend so well together. I'm gonna go back in my crease with an even smaller brush and take Lash Line, which is the shade right in the middle, the darkest shade. And I'm gonna use that to kind of cut my crease. But I don't wanna take it all the way to the inside. I'm just blending that into the outer eyelid shade. That was a shimmer. And I'm also gonna bring that around the lower lash line. And now just to further blend, I'm gonna go back around the edge with the top shade crease. And 
Those all blended so well together. I don't see a harsh line at all. I'm gonna take Smoke, which was the first shade, and just go back around the edge of Lash Line. And then take our pencil brush and go back on the bottom lash line with smoke. And tie it all together with the inner corner shade. That was so easy. I'm done with that side. That was so easy. Love how that looks. Everything is just so blended and so smooth and love it. All right, I'm using my color switch to clean off my brush and I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again. I'm trying to see if I can go a little more brown. Well, let's try blend. I'm gonna go in with blend in the crease to see. Okay, that gives us a little more brown. It's darker than I thought too. I'm just building that up in the crease. This brush is really fluffy, so it's helping to diffuse it. I'm gonna take Center Eyelid, which is the shimmer shade, the very first shimmer shade at the top. Kinda has that pinky tint to it. And we're gonna put that on the lid. I don't feel like that one's coming off as well with my brush as the other one did. Let me use my finger. There we go. Oh, that is such a pretty color. It's still, it looks pinker to me. Oh, I see it. I like that they have this shade in here versus just all like grays and blacks. It gives it a little bit more dimension to the palette so you can do different kinds of looks. I'm gonna go back in with my brush and I realize I'm just gonna have to pack. Can't really swipe to get this color to show as well. I don't wanna wet my brush. This is pretty, it's still glam, but it's a little more neutral. Makes this palette seem like it's a lot more everyday wearable. I mean, it's still glam. I'm gonna take Outer Eyelid, which is the second shade in the bottom row. It is a shimmer, but we're gonna see if we can deepen this up just a tad. Oh God, that is pretty. I'm so glad I got this palette because I started not to. And deepen up. Yes. Still using that same shade. And I love that it's a shimmer, but they blend so well together. You can use it like you would a normal matte shade. Just to see how it applies, I'm gonna take Inner Corner, which is the very glittery shade in the top center. And I'm gonna put that mm, It's all right. It'll probably show a lot more if I wet my brush, but we're not doing that. Clean this up a little bit. And then just for a little more depth, I'm gonna take Smoke. And just tap that in the outer V and on the top of the crease. 
this is still very very glam but it's not as I feel like it's not as dramatic because it's not so dark And of course, I could deepen this up even more if I wanted to take that center color lash line, but I wanted to do something not as bold. And then I'm gonna go back around the outer edge with blend just to make sure that stays soft. Ooh, that is so pretty. So now for the bottom lash line, I am just going to take Smoke the first shade in the second row. And then take center eyelid. So as you can see, two very different looks. Very, very different. And I love that about this palette. It looks like this would be two completely different palettes. I'm gonna do my liner and I'm gonna put on some mascara just so you can see the whole thing finalized and then we're gonna move into look three. All right guys, so this is it for the first two looks. I, I feel like this almost looks like it could have come from two completely different palettes. The way that this pink side, I guess it's pink, I don't know, but I feel like it just looks so soft but still very, very glam. And then this side's like smoky, like I see holidays, date night, like extreme glam on this side. So I love the contrast of these and just how easy it was to do both of them. The colors blend together so well, no issues at all. I keep looking in the mirror, I'm sorry. All right, so this is the first two looks. I just have liner and mascara on my top lashes. I don't have anything on the bottom. It is way too hard to get that off trying to do looks back to back. So this is it. I'm gonna go wipe this off even though I really don't want to and get ready to do the next look for you guys. I decided to go gold this route because I feel like everyone that I've seen do looks with this palette, they've all done silver or super cool tones. So I wanna see because this has neutrals if I can get a pretty gold look out of it. So I'm starting with Blend, which is the second shade in the second row. It's still gonna be a little cool or neutral because of the shades we have, but I want to use that gold shade on my lid. I'm gonna take Smoke again which is the first shade in the second row. And I'm gonna pull that a little more on the inner third, as well as on the outer V and into the crease. And I didn't show it, but I primed my eyes with my P. Louise makeup base. Last time I used Natasha Denona, I did my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. So I just wanted to do something different this time. I'm still using the smoke shade. So if you want to just do this, like I haven't even put anything on my lid yet. But this is kind of what I was thinking about in terms of if I were to do just an all matte look and put one of the lighter shades, either transition or crease, sorry, transition or crease, those two on the lid and just cut it a little bit and that would be it. But we're not doing that because I want to use shimmers. So I'm gonna go back around the edges with blend just a little bit. So now I'm gonna take center eyelid, which is the first gold on the bottom row. And 
And I am using the same brushes from earlier, but I did clean them off with my Cinema Secrets. I feel like I'm gonna need to use my finger with this shade. It looks a little chunkier than the others. So let's see. I don't want to bring it all the way across the lid yet. That is pretty though. We're going to blend those edges out. Don't worry. I feel like this is one of those shades. I'm going to take another flat brush and see if this one will pick up a little better. because this is a different texture. And then just kind of blending that in some. And then I'm gonna go back with smoke and just blend on top of that to help blend this in and not have it be so harsh. You see the difference that makes? It almost makes it look like there's a darker gold shade there and it's not. Just blending those two together so it's still keeping the gold, but it just has a little more depth. And then I'm gonna take my pencil brush and go back in with smoke. Probably gonna use a little bit of lash line too I'm going to use Brow Bone, which is the bottom lash shade. And I'm going to go back with the original flat brush. And we're going to put that on the lid. That's kind of helping cool. Oops, I took the wrong shade. Oh no. Okay, so this is center eyelid bottom center well that's why it doesn't look the way you thought it was gonna look i wanted to use brow bone i'm putting brow bone on top of it <laughs> you make a mistake you make the same mistake on both sides then it's not a mistake I like how that looks actually, not bad at all. I'm gonna go back, this is still brow bone, and just go over, because I didn't wanna do center eyelid. It's a lot lighter than what I was trying to blend with the gold. But look at that transition though. <laughs> all right, taking my blending brush and I'm gonna take blend and just go around the edges. And diffuse that and then just make sure we keep our depth here I'm just gonna take lash line the darkest shade in the center and pack that on in the corner just to give it a little more depth lightly brush it in on top of the gold y'all I don't have any fallout at all I didn't even put powder on my face because I didn't have any earlier and then for my inner corner highlight I'm going to take inner corner in the second row I think this is the fastest I have ever done a look this glam. Like, this is kind of crazy to me.
I'm just going to go on the bottom lash line and I'm going to use lash line and smoke. Dragging this down a little bit lower than I normally do just because I feel like this look is so glam. And then just going to go with blend around the edges. I'm going to take smoke. I just want to define this a little bit more. Yeah. Guys, I'm done. Like, <laughs> I swear this is the easiest I have ever done. And look, this glam, it was just so fast. Everything, when it blends together like that, I'm sorry, I'm adding center eyelid, the gold at the bottom. But when it blends together like that, it's just like it does all the work for you. That is it. This is insane. And this is still a bit cool toned, but it's gold. It's not just the typical silver gray cool tone palette. So let me finish everything else and then I'll come back and I'll give you my thoughts. All right guys, so this is the final look. I think I like this one the most. I don't know. Come in a little closer so you can see how it looks. This is with the gold shades in the palette. And like I said, I just decided to do that because most of the looks that I've seen have been with the silvers and the really cool tone. This is still cool toned, but it's gold. And that's usually what I tend to gravitate more towards anyway. I honestly would be kicking myself if I hadn't picked this palette up. This is complete this is like a total package palette if you want something that has a little bit of everything it has neutrals it has cool tones and i mean it's just everything right here in one place i definitely suggest getting this now that i've done this look and actually use this palette i'm thinking about doing another video comparing the cool tone palettes that i've picked up you've seen most of them but i did get the ColourPop baroque palette and I also got the Milani Soft and Sultry palette, which I have not shown yet. I'm looking because they're sitting right here. So let me know what you think, if you'd be interested in seeing that. If you have some of the other palettes, you may think, I don't need to get the Natasha Denona because I have the others after you see the video. I don't know. So comment below and let me know if you'd like to see that. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of it. Again, if you like the content and you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. I upload videos twice a week. And if you like how this look turned out, as well as the other two that I did, please give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.